February 20th, 1943. It's been confirmed. Nemesis has developed a new long-range bomber called the Junkers 390. Worse yet, these bombers are in full production. Given his presence at Stalingrad, I'm sure Krieger is running the show. Needless to say, with a threat like this, we're going to need to find it and hit it hard. The White Rose was dropped behind enemy lines. With her usual efficiency, she has discovered the location of the bomber production facility. It's in eastern Germany, out of effective range of our B-17s, so we've been given the job. This will be our first strike at Nemesis' home base, so I'm looking forward to leading the way. I'll be flying in low and slow to avoid enemy air patrols. If I get the jump on them, I'll cook those bombers in their hangars and incinerate the factory. Christ almighty, I can see why our latest edition is called a flying pancake. It possesses some unique qualities that make it ideal for the upcoming mission. Its variable airspeed gives it the ability to fly very slowly. It's also hard to spot, making it perfect for a stealthy approach. If the pancake is not to your liking, feel free to select an alternative aircraft. For your needs this time round, I'd recommend taking cannons or rockets. Either one can pierce anything the Jerrys have out there, even armoured targets.
that will level the factory. The hangers are sealed up tight. You have to close the doors off. The Flugzeug darf 390er Hangers nicht erreichen. Wir brauchen diese Maschinen. Wir müssen die Hangar verteidigen. Beschütze stationieren. Wir verlagern unser Blatt zu den Hängers. Gleich haben wir es geschafft.
Schwarz. Bersch, wir müssen den verdammten Zug hier wegbringen. Did you hear that? The supply train chase. Stop it. It's carrying equipment for the planes. It's also carrying a lot of AA. These are very brave or extremely foolish to interfere with my projects. I can assure you, American, irgendwann bist du fällig. I will see you in the clouds soon enough. Given the results of the Battlehawks' last mission, the SOE had confirmed that a transatlantic bomber was being built. And now they had suspicions that its purpose was even more menacing. Dr. Bohr revealed that the Germans had been using the Norsk Hydro plant in Norway to manufacture deuterium oxide, a substance crucial to their atomic research. This material, also called heavy water, put the terrifying prospect of an atomic bomb within the grasp of the Third Reich. The SOE knew that this factory, the only known source of heavy water, had to be demolished. 